What's going on, Glorifiers? I'm Mariah Elise, and welcome back to Dear Glory. Today, we're breaking down a key part of the art world that you might have heard about, the secondary market. But what exactly is it? Why does it matter to so many artists and collectors? We're gonna walk through it step by step, so by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what it is, why it's important, and how you can navigate it strategically. Also, throughout this video, I'll mention terms that might be new to you. Don't worry about that. There's a downloadable glossary in the description with all of that jargon explained. Grab it and stay ahead of the game. Let's start with the basics. What is the secondary art market? In simple terms, it's when artwork is sold after its first purchase. The primary market is when a piece is sold for the first time, usually by the artist through a gallery or directly to a buyer. The secondary market is when the same artwork is sold again, whether through auctions, galleries, or private sales. This is where collectors resell art, often at a higher price. So why does this matter? The secondary market can boost an artist's reputation and increase the value of their work over time. But it also means that the artist is in part of the resale or making money from it. Now let's talk about the challenges for both artists and collectors. The secondary market can feel confusing and hard to navigate. For artists, the one of the biggest challenges is they don't always have control over the resale of their work. Once their piece enters the secondary market, the price of their work can rise or it can fall based on demand, now with no direct benefit to them financially. This means their work can sell for a much higher price than what they originally sold it for, but they're not gonna see any of that money. Now for collectors, the challenge is understanding when to sell or when to buy. The secondary market can really be unpredictable. Now the challenge is also when to buy. Art can appreciate in value, but it can also stagnate or drop in price depending on trends and demand. How do you know when it is the right time to sell or when the right time to buy? The big idea behind the secondary market is that it plays a huge role in determining an artist's long-term success and an artist's artwork's value. Think of it as the stock market of the art world. When an artwork is resold at a higher price, it can elevate the artist's entire body of work and place them on the radar of more influential collectors and galleries. But here's the thing, just because the secondary market can raise the artist's profile doesn't always mean it's the best place to operate. Both for artists and collectors, you have to be strategic about when and how to enter into this market. Now, how do you approach the secondary market if you're an artist or you're a collector? Let's break it down. For artists, it's important to have a solid relationship with your collectors and with the galleries you're working with. When your work hits the secondary market, you wanna make sure it's being sold by reputable collectors who care about your career. You can also create scarcity by limiting the availability of your work, which helps maintain its value over time. Now I want you to remember why you don't directly profit from sales. You can benefit from the increased exposure. Now for collectors, your approach should be about timing and a lot of research. If you're looking to sell a piece, ask yourself, is this artist gaining more recognition? Are the works being featured in major exhibitions or museums? Are auction prices going up right now? All of these factors play into when you should sell or even when you should buy to maximize your return or to maximize your ability to get something at a great price. So how do you execute in the secondary art market? Now for artists, the execution comes down to staying aware of where your work is being resold and nurturing your relationship with galleries and with collectors. You wanna be in the conversation when your work changes hands. Even if you're not directly a part of the sale, now for collectors, execution is about being patient and knowing when to act. The art market can fluctuate and it's important not to rush into a sale or rush into buying just because prices seem high or low. Take your time to research and make sure that you're selling at the peak of the demand for an artist. But I want you to remember what I said earlier. Make sure you're caring about the artist and their career. Never will I ever tell a collector not to liquidate, not to sell, especially if that's something that they have to do at the time. I just wanna make sure that collectors are remaining collectors, which are stewards of the artwork. Now, if you want to get a little bit deeper into the secondary market, download that glossary in the description to get a full breakdown of all the terms we discussed today. 
And if you're looking for even more insights on how to navigate the art world as an artist or as a collector, make sure to join my Patreon community where we explore these topics in depth with exclusive content, Q&A sessions, discussions, and more. For those of you who want to take your understanding to the next level, I highly recommend you checking out some of these books that I'm about to recommend. I have read The $12 Million Stuff Shark by Don Thompson, and it was really fun to read. I mean, if you're really into this stuff, I think that you should definitely look into The $12 Million Stuff Shark by Don Thompson. It's a really good dig into the economics of contemporary art. I want you guys to remember that it does not matter where you live. If you live in Houston, Texas like me, you need to be very aware of the global art market, not just the art market in Texas. If you live in New York, you might have a better pulse on what's happening globally because so many global events happen there, but you still need to try to understand what's going on worldwide, what's happening in Tokyo, what's happening in London. It doesn't matter where you live, you want to have a look at the global art scene, the global art market. Another book is The Art Collector's Handbook, which is by Mary Roselle. It's a must read, a must read for collectors on how to manage and care for your art collection. So if you're looking to build a collection, are you having some trouble having some understanding on how to manage your collection? How do you care for your collection? Read that book, read all of these books, honestly. You can find the links of these books in my description below. Make sure to click the link in my description to buy these books. Also sign up for my newsletter at the link below to stay updated on my upcoming webinars and masterclasses. I can't wait to be an assist in helping you guys in your art journey. I really thank y'all for being here. But before we go, let's recap some of the terms we talked about in this video that's also gonna show up in the glossary that I really extend to you to download. Resale value, scarcity, demand, and auction prices. Now download that glossary for easy reference and don't forget to check out my Patreon for even more exclusive content on the art market. All right. Thank y'all so much for being here, for being a part of this journey. Thank you for watching. Remember, we're all on this road to glory together and I'm so excited to see where your path takes you next. Until next time, keep creating and keep pushing forward. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, and let me say thank y'all for everyone who has reached out to me. I've had a chance to really connect with a lot of you guys through Patreon. I've had a chance to really connect with a lot of you guys through these 15 minute consultation. And it's given me the opportunity to really get to know the audience and be in real contact with you and have real conversations with you. I'm having a really good understanding of what you guys need. And some of you guys are turning into clients. So I really, really enjoy having that closer connection. If you're someone that wants to have a 15 minute free consultation with me in order to become a client of mine as an advisor, for me to be an advisor to you as an artist or actor, make sure you click that consultation link in the description and let's get on the phone. Let's get to know one another and see if we're a good fit to work together. All right, y'all, so many options, Patreon, consultation, download the glossary. I just wanna be able to give you everything that I can to make sure that you are continuing your learning journey. Until next time, stay on the road to glory. Peace.